Hello everybody, XB Gamer here, and welcome back to more Paper Mario Color Splash. Now a lot's happened since uh last episode because well it may not seem like it. Well, first off, you guys um, may have noticed the three-day break. I probably could have mentioned it, but um, all right, we already got that one. Um, I went on a school field trip. There was no internet, nothing. I couldn't upload. Um, and the, the video that we just up, the last two videos that were just uploaded were, um, pre-recorded from a little while ago. So this episode is actually, well, it's the first one that I've recorded in a long time. Master Mario, this is the Dark Blue Inn. We understand you found a purple floral teapot. The manager here has thrown his back out apologizing to the patrons awaiting their tea party. It would be lovely if you could bring the teapot you found back to our hotel as soon as possible. Ooh, another one. Hey, you big bro. It's a Luigi again. The, the green plumber guy. Have you heard of this Rochambeau legend called the Rock Paper Wizard? I heard a rumor that if you beat him, you'll win a super rare card. I'd like to see it, so try to win it if you can. Okay, so anyways, uh... What happened since last episode? Well, I got my braces off. Which, uh, now I have a retainer in that I have to wear for the next two weeks. So, if I have a bit of a lisp, a lisp, then that's why. Um, see so yeah, how there's that? You'll have to endure that for a bit. Um, what else? Nothing much, actually. Um, that's the only major thing aside from, well, the break, obviously. But, it's nice to be sitting back down here. Anyways, last time... We depoisonified Plum Park. Uh, got one of the two mini paint stars there, along with the teapot. This time, as you saw, we read those letters, and now we're heading back to the Dark Blue Inn to, uh, well, get their teapot back and give those ghosts their party. So we walk right into the left here. And as you can see, that portrait right there is the perfect shape to place a card. Also, um, I think I mentioned this a, uh, a few episodes ago, but you guys know by now probably why I'm um, not uploading Perler videos. It's because I'm making a really, really big one. And I just thought I'd let you know it is coming along. It is coming along greatly. I cannot wait for that thing to be done. Anyways. Would you care for some tea? I don't know why I'm giving them British accents now, because I know they didn't have them before. And now that they have had their party, it's time for them to rise to the heavens. And we just leave. They have left their legacy on this small little manor. Also, now that the ghosts are gone, this place is back to normal as well. Mr. Mario, thank you so much for resolving this bizarre conundrum. I'm relieved that our six spooky customers were happy in the end. With that, our hotel will finally open its doors for business once again. Please take this as an expression of our gratitude. You want to do this? That gives you, that puts your max cards up. Um, yeah. Oh, I like the little bell. Max cards up, does that mean we can use three cards per turn? Or does that mean we can hold more cards? Hang on. Cause I didn't think you would upgrade your card capacity. No, we can still hold 91 cards, so now I guess we can use three cards per battle. I'm assuming that's what that meant. So, just like we got the second, uh, max, the first max card up thing from the soggy guy uh, very early on, now we have the second one. So now we're heading back into Plum Park. 
really quickly because if you remember this flower here, well, this leads to the second of the paint stars here. Very, very easy to obtain, but um, also pretty, pretty easy to forget about. So just, just make sure you grab that. And now that we got all that little side junk out of the way, uh, this leads back to Blue Bay Beach. So yeah, now that all that's out of the way, we can head to the new area, Violet Passage. All right. We got a ton of, uh, what? A normal pizza. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, there's a staircase right here, and as you can see, not even the ocean is safe from the Shy Guys. How they manage to drain the color from the ocean without, like, well, being in the water themselves. I don't, I don't know how that worked, but, uh, the ocean is drained of its color, so. <laughs> Big, bad situation. Mario, look! This is super serious! Whoa! Part of the sea is completely colorless! This is a severe environmental issue. One could even call it a greenish... Wait. I suppose it's more of a blue issue. I... Was that just colors or was that like a pawn? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really get that. Forget the sea, we've got a pirate problem! Sick! Dodge. Whoa, how did you? Never mind. That's our boat over there. The pirates came out of nowhere. The rescue squad tried to help, but, well, they're the rescue squad. <laughs> they tried to help, but yeah, you know, they, they suck. They broke into the barricade. The sea being colorless is kind of worrisome. Let's go check it out. Just a bunch of shy guys, nothing we can't handle. You know what, that is true. We gotta take that ship back ASAP! It's about to embark on a very important voyage! Just make sure none of these other poles are colorless. Alright, we got a blooper here. Again, I don't know how shy guys are capable of making art like this. Ooh, a bottle opener. Not only did the enemy hijack the ship, they're firing the cannon all willy-nilly. Talk about cheeky. Ah! Don't scare me like that. I thought I'd been creamed by a cannonball. Okay, so we actually... Wait. Yeah, we cannot get to the ship yet. Unfortunately. But, we do have this guy. Thanks for that, Mario. We gathered the five best yellow rescue squad members for this mission, but right now we're at a stalemate with these guys. I'll keep an eye on the tide of battle from here. You go help the rest of the yellow rescue squad. Oh wow, one of them didn't say it for once. So, yeah, it may not seem like there's much to do here, because we can't you know get over there however keep in mind excuse me phone call keep in mind that the ocean is colorless as such we can stand on it you do you have anything to say are you really trying to paint the entire ocean with your hammer how are you still alive So yes, we can literally just walk right across the ocean, onto this side of the dock, and make our way here. We have this little silver thing, or gray thing, I guess. Um, okay, nothing secret back there. Yo, 
yoink. Just as I thought, this barrel is made of paper. My work here is done. That, that's all you had to say? Alright. Looks more cardboard like to me, but whatever. Alright, let's hop on board. Oi! Look who it is, boys! Mr. Big Nose is here to stick a giant smeller where it doesn't belong. Buzz off, Mega Schnoz! We're searching for something important on this here ship. Yeah, an important secret about the Violet Isles. Uh, oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. No witnesses! Alright, we've got some fighting to do. So, uh... First off... Yeah, so we could play three cards right now if we wanted to. And, uh... You know what? Just because, like... Why the heck not? Let's just, uh, let's just show it off. Uh, I don't need a normal jump attack, yeah. So look, we can play three cards now, so. Using a KO hammer. Three worn out hammers. And then if we did need it, which we won't, uh, we could've used that jump attack. That will be helpful later on. Anyways, now that we have free roam of the ship, smack that pillar that shy guy falls down. Yo ho ho! Two for the price of one! I like to think of these shy guys as pirates, okay? It's my little thing. Um. I think this ought to be good. Wipe these guys out. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, timing. Okay, thank you. I don't know why, how I managed to get four nices in a row. That's horrible. You never think it can happen to you, but here I am being saved by Mario. I'm such a toad. You know, that is true. You really are just such a toad. Next time on Such a Toad. <laughs> Yar! No one interrupts a good old fashioned keel hauling without paying the price. Which is another keel hauling. Get em, boys! Uh, I didn't know those guys were gonna jump up. I was ready for him to say, like, wait, where are the boys or something? But nope. <laughs> Should be good, just in case. Just in case, we're bringing three worn out shoes. Oh, Jesus. I keep forgetting how, like, seriously overpowered that thing is. That's insane. Wow, a sweaty palm back and forth on the bowsprit of a ship. Now it's just like the movies. And off he goes. Okay, what is next? This pathetic weakling begged us to slurp him out of his misery. Your turn to beg, pretty boy. Okay. So, uh, let's not completely overkill these guys. This should be enough. But just in case, I'll take one shoe, but I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, yeah, that's fine. The shield is a lot weaker than I'd expect it to be. But, uh, oh well. Get a jump. As you can see... There is something for a cutout there, however, we can't do anything with it just yet. Huh? I did it! I beat him! Those jumps never stood a chance against me!
its strider. Slicing through the mist, paint will be spilled here today. The Shy Ninja Strikes. I'm dying to voice him like Strider 7X. I'm sorry, I'm not the best at it. This is Black Shy Guy, Anti Guy, Strider 7X, whatever you want to call him. Uh, and as you can hear, this is the mini boss theme. So this guy does classify as a mini boss. However, you notice I'm only using a normal jump against him. That's because. All attacks will miss him. Yeah. All attacks. Every single one of them will miss him. So what you need to do is use instead thing cards. I think replicas work. Okay, yes, replicas do work. So yeah, the only way to actually kill this guy is with thing cards. Uh, luckily I have one more replica, so that should do him off. I didn't know it'd take two though, geez. You could use regular thing cards, but I prefer, prefer to save those for either when they're actually required or just for big bosses. That's what happens when you use a plunger in battle. An oddly scandalous looking scene happens. And out he goes. Now if you did keep attacking him, he would have eventually told you like, hey, well no, Huey would have told you like, hey, we, we're gonna need thing cards to beat this guy. But I mean, I already know. Rip Strider. Whoa, that black shy guy was so fast. I couldn't track him with my naked eye. No wonder pirates wear eye patches, you know, so their eyes aren't naked when they fight ninjas. It was tough, but we'd driven off the hijackers and rescued the rescue squad members. Let's head back to the jetty. Okay, so we've done everything we can do here. Let's cross the ocean sea. Also, you can see there's a uh, pirate toad trapped there. I'm assuming he just killed the shy guys who trapped in there because they wouldn't have been able to get out on their own. Oh, gee, I see that colorless spot. Don't worry, I saw that pole to the left. Do not worry. Mr. Mario, sir, the ship recovery pro mission was a huge success. Thanks for your support. Yellow Rescue Squad member 6 to 10. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my da 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 da. Mario, thanks to you, we got our precious ship back. Actually, this ship belongs to our captain, and he's currently, um... Well, when the pirates attacked, he jumped onto a barrel and got marooned in that colorless water. I'm sorry to ask so many favors of you, but please go rescue our captain, please. I wish we could help, but we can't sail through that colorless water, unless... If we could track down a big paint star and repaint the sea... We could probably save your captain. We'll wait here for you to return. Okay, crew, back to the ship. Yeah, don't worry, I see these. Um. Interesting. We can't do anything here, can we? I don't think so. Okay, well there's a hollow peach now, but... Huh. Oh, okay, all of the yellow, okay, cool. Good timing for that, because I was wondering, like, what do we do? There's nothing we can do. Uh, but good timing for the rescue squad members, I guess. So now we actually can advance. Okay. No, I don't want to hear that number. 
Uh, where's the hollow peach? Oh, hollow peach, oh, hollow peach, where are you, my hollow peach? Oh, hollow peach, oh, hollow peach, oh, there you are, my hollow peach. Mario, I want to tell you what I've seen. I've taken off this ship and led down a long hallway. There's no doubt about it. I'm inside Bowser's castle. But I don't really understand how that's possible or where the castle is located. We seem to be surrounded by fog or clouds. Regardless, I'm unharmed. You may consider this hollow peach proof of life. I have no doubt that you'll rescue me. Mario, please hurry. Love, Peach. Okay. So now that that's over with, we can head back to uh, the Sacred of Forest. Um, actually... Do I want to head there now or save that? Because we already got one... We already got one of the stars in Sacred Forest. I know the one we can get right now takes a really long time. And I know that the other one we can't get. All right, you know what? We're shortening this video a bit because I know this next star is gonna take a pretty long time. So with that, we are, first off, we check the mail. We cleared Dark Blue in of its ghost problem. Got the second paint star in Plum Park, headed over to Violet Passage, helped the toads there, and next time on Paper Mario Color Splash, we're heading into the Sacred Forest to reunite with all of the yellow, to yellow Rescue Squad members. See you guys then. Also look, we're, we're actually getting pretty far into this map, but don't worry, still got a lot of stuff to do. See you guys then.